In this video, I would like to talk about something which is called emotional labor. It might sound as a weird term, but as you will see, it's quite quite nice idea and uh, I would like to go a little bit deeper into it. So let's first take a look at the definition of emotional labor. This is an employee's expression of organizationally desired emotions during interpersonal transactions at work. Well, it's a little bit hairy, so let's take a deeper look at it. So we have some interpersonal transactions at work. So let's say you are working as a, let's say you are working as a cashier. So you are working as a cashier. Now we are going to have some interpersonal transactions at work. So that someone comes and you are going to sell some item or you are going to interact, talk a little bit, and this is a transaction. Now, your organization has some desired emotions. So, desired emotions. So that you as a cashier should always be, let's say, happy, uh, happy and smiling. And now you can see there is an expression of these desired emotions. So that is the emotional labor. A lot of service minded jobs are, you know, falling under the emotional labor. Now, what is the problem here? So we are moving to some problem. So some problem. And this problem is called emotional dissonance. It's a weird term. I never really remember it, but the definition is quite straightforward. And it says when employees have to project one emotion while feeling another. So let's say, as we have mentioned, uh, your organization requires you to be happy and smiling. So let me just copy paste this. So it requires you to be happy and smiling. So that is the projection of the emotion that you are required. So it's this emotion right over here. But you are feeling some another emotion. So let's say, let's say that you are, let's say, sad sad or you are angry and of course when you are sad and angry this is this another emotion that you are feeling you are not really willing to be happy and smiling when your customers are coming and this is the emotional dissonance when we have to project something when you, we have to be happy however we are feeling some another emotion and we are sad and angry so let's take a deeper look at it we have something that we call felt emotions, then we have some felt emotions, and then we have some displayed emotions. So now when we, even without reading the definitions, well, what are the displayed emotions? Well, they are over here. So this is what should be displayed. These are our displayed emotions, but our felt emotions are different. These are our felt emotions. So let's take a look at the definitions. Felt emotions are an individual's actual emotions so that we are sad and angry. And then on the other hand, there are some displayed emotions, which are those that the organization requires workers to show and considers appropriate in a given job. So that you can see that the emotional dissonance occurs between these two when we have some felt emotions and they are not the same as the displayed emotions. Now, what is the solution to this? Let's try to think about some solution. Well, basically, and this is a very important sentence to keep in mind after watching this video, uh, so I will highlight it. Well, displaying fake emotions requires us to suppress real ones. Well, how can we do that? How can we suppress our real emotions to display some, some fake emotions? Well, there are two ways that we can try. The first one is called a surface acting. So we have surface acting and then we have deep acting, uh, deep acting. Well, the surface acting is hiding inner feelings. So we are going to hide inner feelings and foregoing emotional expressions in response to display rules. So simply, 
when you are sad and angry you are still going to you know display that you are happy and smiling even though inside of you you are feeling differently and not that good then there is deep acting that is different this is our why we are doing deep acting we are trying to modify a true inner feelings based on a display rules so even though we came to job sad and angry well our customers are smiling and are happy maybe and thanks to that i will try to modify my real mood and as well i will try to be smiling and happy even inside of me not just outside not just displaying this but the true inner feelings are going to be that i'm happy and smiling so this was the emotional labor. We defined ourselves an emotional labor. Then we talked about the problem that occurs here, which is emotional dissonance, which is when employees have to project one emotion while feeling another. So that we have some felt emotions and then some displayed emotions. The solution to this is that displaying fake emotions requires us to suppress real ones. And that we can do two ways, either by a surface acting or by a deep acting.